Number 69. A sample of HgCl2 weighing 9.41 grams is dissolved in 32.75 grams of ethanol, which is C2H5OH, which has a Kb of 1.20 degrees Celsius per molality. The boiling point elevation of the solution is 1.27 degrees Celsius. Is HgCl2 an electrolyte in ethanol? Show your calculations. Okay, so a lot of numbers being thrown at us right now, right? Um, and the idea here is that we did have some compound, HgCl2, is being dissolved in a sort of liquid medium, which is ethanol, right here. And we want to know that once the Hg, uh, HgCl2 um, was thrown into the ethanol, was it acting as an electrolyte or not? Now, what formula is coming to mind here? Well, we're talking about a solution, right? They did say that we have a solution and, you know, the HgCl2 is being dunked into the ethanol. A solute is always dunked into the solvent. So by that, the HgCl2 is acting as the solute and the ethanol, the C2H5OH, since you're placing the HgCl2 into the ethanol, that is your solvent, and the combination of the two, once they're in the same container, that's a happy solution. So solution chemistry, we're talking about uh, boiling points, right? They gave us a boiling point elevation, they gave us a Kb value. What formula comes to mind? Well, for me, it's this one right here. Did you think of the same formula? So let's see. Delta TB equals KB times molality times I. Now the delta TB is called the change in the boiling point. It's the change in the boiling point between a pure solvent and one that has a solute in it. Now this also has another name and it's called the boiling point elevation. And in this case, if we just read the question again, it said the boiling point elevation of the solution is 1.27. That means that the temperature raised or went higher 1.27 degrees Celsius. So we already know what that change in the boiling point is. The change is from the initial to the final. Um, but in this case, the elevation is the 1.27. So I have this value. The Kb value is for the solvent always, and they provided that to us, 1.20 degrees Celsius per molality. Cute little m here, lowercase, is molality. And do I have enough information to solve it? Well, molality equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. We already stated that the HgCl2 is the solute. Can I find the moles? Well, they gave me 9.41, and maybe what I'll do is I'll put this over here. Um, I guess so, I guess so, that works. 9.41, uh, we have grams of HgCl2. But I don't want that, right? I want moles. I want my moles of HgCl2. How do I go from grams to moles? Yeah, you always divide by the molar mass. I'll put mm. So I have to go on my periodic table and I have to find out what the molar mass is of HgCl2. So let's see. On my periodic table, right in front of me, I got an Hg of... 200.6. So 200.6 plus, I have two chlorines, and each chlorine weighs 35.45. 35.45, let's find out what this number is. 200.6, no idea what, what that was, but we're just going to keep going. 200.6 plus three times, no, two times. 35.45. And we get a molar mass of 
So I'm going to take my 9.41 and divide it by 271.5. And let's see. 9.41 divided by this number. And I get 0. 0. 0.0347. Something like that. So we have the moles. The moles are 0. 0.0347. Zero, three, four, seven. Now the next thing is, do we have the kilograms of the solvent? We did say that the ethanol, the C2H5OH, was the solvent. And aha, they gave us 32.75 grams. But we want kilograms. So how do we go from grams to kilograms of the ethanol? Well, grams to kilograms, that's just dividing by a thousand. Similarly, take the decimal, move it to the left three times. So we get 0, 0.0, and I need a little bit more room, 0, 0.03275, right? One, two, three. Yep, that looks good to me. And now let's find out the malality. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Sometimes, sometimes the accents just come out. Makes it Makes it a little more interesting. So malality equals, oh boy. Oh boy. 0 0.0347 divided by um, 0 0.03275. Let's find out what that malality equals, shall we? Uh, so I'm going to just take this full number here and divide it by 0 0.03275. Um, that looks good to me. Let's press enter. Okay, so we get a molality of 1.058. And remember, we did all that because we could find the molality. So this is now, uh, I guess, yeah, 1.058. So now the idea here is, do we have an I value? Well, the I value is either your your uh, your sample is going to be an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. But now, since the question is asking for, is this HgCl2 an electrolyte? The only variable that can tell us that is the I value. So in this case, we are solving for the I value here. Now, just generally know that if you have an I value of one, that means that your solute is acting as a non-electrolyte, which means that it's not breaking down into any ions. It's still, you know, hanging on by a thread. The intermolecular forces between the HgCl2s are greater than what the molecular forces would be of the ethanol. But if you have an I value that's greater than one, so two, three, four, etc., 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 that shows me that this compound is acting as an electrolyte because these numbers represent how many ions it broke down into into its solution. And anytime you have ions breaking down into your, your solvent, um, you got an electrolyte. So let's find it out. Delta TB 1.27 equals the 1.20 times the molality, which is 1.058, and then we're just solving for that I value. So I can just uh, simplify the right side. I'm just going to take this molality and times it by 1.20. And I get 1. Point, oh boy. 1. 1.27 equals, yeah, I mean 1.26995. So maybe we'll just cut it off like that. Solve for x, you know what to do. We're going to divide by both sides. You probably already know the answer by this amount. And we get 1.27 divided by this number. And I mean, yeah, the, the x value, whoop, the x value, which remember is the Van't Hoff factor, that's the i value, the Van't Hoff factor. <laughs> Um, is 1. So going back to what we said, if it equals 1, it is acting as a 
non-electrolyte. So no ions being formed here. And the HgCl2 is just chilling by itself. Didn't break up into any ions. That's a non-electrolyte, which means that it will not conduct electricity if you try to use the solution as an electrical solution to power a light bulb. But that's basically it. Is this an electrolyte in ethanol? Absolutely not. I hope this helped. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you want to help us out, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Uh, just gets the word out there that this channel exists. And I thank you so much, my brother and I. We really do appreciate all you guys who have used the channel, who have, uh, you know, you, you know, used the channel again <laughs> and again and again. Um, but just think that it's, you know, a really cool educational service uh, that's helping you out in your class. That's what we want to do. We want to help you guys in your class. That's why we have thousands and thousands of videos so that you can learn at your own pace, you know? Take time, burn the midnight oil, just run through these videos, and you'll get it, all right? Um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? And I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you later. Maybe not see you, but I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye-bye.